Hi, fiends. I am here with new story. Let's enjoy the story. Once upon a time, in a land far, far away, there lived a young and kind-hearted boy named Aladdin. He resided in the bustling city of Agrabah, a place of vibrant colors, bustling markets, and towering palaces. Aladdin was known for his quick wit and nimble fingers, but he was also known for his poverty. Aladdin's days were spent rummaging through the crowded marketplace, searching for food to eat and a place to rest his head. He often found himself stealing to survive, but deep down, he possessed a good heart. His life took a remarkable turn when he crossed paths with the beautiful Princess Jasmine. Jasmine was wandering through the market in disguise, yearning for a taste of life beyond the palace walls. She and Aladdin met, and their connection was instant. They shared stories, laughter, and a sense of freedom. But Aladdin couldn't bring himself to tell her the truth about his humble origins. Meanwhile, lurking in the shadows of Agraba was the sinister sorcerer Jafar. He had a burning desire to rule the kingdom and was in pursuit of an extraordinary magical artifact, the all-powerful genie's lamp. This lamp was hidden deep within the Cave of Wonders, a place said to hold untold treasures. The cave, however, had a strict rule. Only one whose worth lies far within, the diamond in the rough, may enter. Fate had its own plan, and Aladdin was revealed to be the chosen one, the diamond in the rough. He embarked on a perilous journey into the cave, overcoming numerous challenges, and ultimately discovering the coveted lamp. Inside the lamp resided a flamboyant and energetic genie, bound by the lamp's magic for thousands of years. Aladdin's first wish was for food, and to be rescued from the cave. The genie, grateful for his freedom, granted Aladdin's request. Over a hearty meal, Aladdin and the genie formed a unique friendship. Aladdin's next wish was to become a prince, for he believed that only a prince could win the heart of the beautiful Jasmine. In a whirlwind of magic, he was transformed into Prince Ali Ababwa, complete with wealth, servants, and a grand entrance into Agraba. He hoped that this new identity would allow him to court the princess. Aladdin's grand entrance to the palace astonished everyone, including Jasmine. She was introduced to Prince Ali, and they quickly formed a connection. However, Jasmine was not fooled by Aladdin's princely facade. She saw through his disguise and recognized the kind and charming boy she had met in the market. As their friendship deepened, Aladdin realized he had to tell Jasmine the truth. He confessed his real identity and explained the circumstances that had led him to disguise himself as a prince. Jasmine appreciated his honesty and grew fonder of him. Unbeknownst to Aladdin, Jafar was determined to obtain the genie's lamp. He discovered Aladdin's secret and managed to steal it. With the lamp in his possession, Jafar gained the power to control the genie, and his ambitions soared to terrifying heights. Jafar used his newfound sorcery to take control of the kingdom, forcing the genie to make him the sultan. He then commanded the genie to make Jasmine his wife. The princess, heartbroken and terrified, had no choice but to obey. Aladdin, with the help of his friends, the clever Abu and the faithful carpet, hatched a plan to confront Jafar and rescue Agraba from his clutches. With Jasmine's support, they infiltrated the palace, attempting to steal the lamp back. A thrilling battle of wits and magic unfolded between Aladdin and Jafar. With quick thinking, Aladdin managed to outsmart the sorcerer and regain the lamp. But Jafar wasn't one to give up easily. He transformed himself into a mighty serpent, intending to crush Aladdin. Once again, Aladdin's resourcefulness came to the rescue. He lured Jafar into using his final wish to become an all-powerful genie. Jafar's lust for power proved to be his downfall as he was instantly imprisoned in a small, cramped lamp of his own, along with the genie's lamp. With Jafar defeated and the genie's lamp back in their hands, Aladdin made a selfless wish. He wished for the genie's freedom, releasing his friend from the lamp's enchantment. The genie's gratitude was immense, and he promised Aladdin that he would always be a friend, and that he had one final wish remaining. Aladdin decided to use his last wish wisely. Rather than using it for personal gain, he wished for the genie to have a life full of freedom, adventure, and love. With that, the genie was transformed into a regular human and set off on his own exciting journey. 
Agraba was free from Jafar's tyranny, and Jasmine was now the sultan. She declared that Agraba would no longer follow old traditions, and she could marry whoever she chose. With a genuine heart, Aladdin asked Jasmine to be his wife, and she happily accepted. They celebrated their love with a magical carpet ride through the starry night. As the newlywed couple looked out over the city, they remembered their adventurous journey. They knew that true love and honesty had brought them together, and they would rule Agrabah with compassion, wisdom, and a deep understanding of the importance of staying true to oneself.